What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I have an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy camera. This camera is by far one of the most powerful cameras you can get right now. It is a 16 megapixel camera along with a very good lens. It also has a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor and it runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So it's very similar to what you would find on a Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, or Note 2. Looks pretty much the same and it also has built in Wi-Fi with an option for 3G which makes for very easy photo sharing. Anyone can figure out that this is a smart camera. So without further ado, I'm going to cut into this seal and take a look at what's inside of the box. Right when you pull the lid off of the box, you can see the Galaxy camera itself. And as you can see, I went with the white model, but there are other colors available. So if you're interested in pricing and availability, I will put links down in the description to where you can pick one of these cameras up. I'm going to pull the camera right out of the box. It does have a really sleek design, feels very solid when I first picked it up, but we're going to set that aside for now and see what else we get in the box. First off, you get your quick start guide as well as your manual, which most people that are buying this camera probably don't need. You also get a white leather lanyard to put around your wrist as well as your rechargeable battery. To charge that battery, you're going to be using the included USB power brick as well as a micro USB cable. Here's the camera. You have nice chrome blue and silver accents to go along with the white, but let's flip it around and take a look at the screen. Here's the 4.8 inch HD super clear LCD screen, which is not to be confused with the super AMOLED display found on the smartphones that Samsung makes, which actually is kind of better because it will produce better color accuracy. The lens does stick out a little bit from the body and you do get a really nice grip to hold on to on the side. On the top you will find your microphone, shutter button, zoom controls, as well as your power button. On the side of the device you will find a headphone jack, micro USB port, as well as a loop for the lanyard to go through. On the reverse side you have a button to pop up your flash as well as a speaker. And very basic but on the bottom of the camera you have your tripod mount as well as a HDMI port, micro USB slot, and a slot for your battery. Like I said earlier, the Galaxy camera does run Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which makes for a really cool user experience. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Let me know if you want to see a review of this camera because I will be using it a ton over this summer. Thanks, and I'll catch you in my next video.